I'll be upset if I don't win. I think I'll be disappointed a little bit because I want money to move out. But, like, it's it's just a contest I entered. It was fun. And I think the coolest part about it was the fact that I got to learn. You guys will help me when I'm in a pickle situation or, like, want help with a contest or something. You guys spammed the crap out of that video. And I thank you so much. It'd be nice to win, like, some money towards, you know, moving out, but, like, I don't expect anything of it. I'm not gonna cry. Maybe I will when the camera's off. But <laughs> other than that, no. Okay, I'm gonna lay down and sleep more. All the runners-up were awarded a $1,000, and I know that I definitely didn't get first place spot, so I definitely didn't get the main one, but... Don't you all be like, you should have won. It's fine. They come, they go, and you win some and you lose some. John Thanks, Mom, for getting me breakfast slash lunch. Yep, no problem. Oh, drink. Oh, I forgot my, my Wendy's drink. She just got me Wendy's and I had a spicy chicken burger when I woke up. I think that's hilarious. Yes, I did go to bed late last night, but don't worry. I'll go to bed and get a good time tonight. I should stop talking about this. I talk about this too much. What are those beds for? For our new room. What new room? That would be the room that you will be vacating soon. Wow! Just go get a bed while I'm here, won't you? Uncle and auntie gave it to us. Oh. They got a new bed, and this would be their new bed, you know, the plastic. Gotcha. And they put them in the plastic. I yeah. see. And it was sitting in their garage, right? Well, of course, so you have to take it from them then and make me feel like I have to move out now. Yeah, you so do. Okay. Sandra, it's fine. Mm. It's so fine. Hey, you brought your friends over and I'm in a onesie! Yeah! Yeah! This is the best day ever! What? Sandra, I was so scared. I opened the door and it's like, whew! I thought like someone opened it, but I looked around the corner and no one was there. I was like, whoa! Whew, that was scary. <laughs> cool story, bro! Uh, story. Yeah, you guys are the coolest. No, I am, because I'm in a onesie. What? What? Oh, it's not doing it anymore. It just kind of swung open. Yeah, I think you're lying to us. I think you made that whole story up so that you could be on camera forever. Ask Francis. Yeah, there's a ghost in your house. Oh, fine, whatever. You're not supposed to stick up for him. Psh, don't you know the code of just kidding? Duh. Oh, no, it just stopped. I'm pretty sure we're going to die, though. Our house might blow away. Look at how crazy this wind is. It was blowing so hard and fast. I wish it was blowing harder right now because it was. Now it just looks like I'm lying to you. I'm not lying to you. It really was blowing really hardcore. Man, this onesie's warm, and I'm so embarrassed that I actually am loving it right now. Oh, blow harder. Wait, what? Oh, here we go. It's freaking out again. Holy poo. I think we might die. There's a hurricane where we live, actually. I forgot to tell you guys that. So, this vlog, probably not going to make it. You guys, probably going to make it. Me, not so much. But, hey, whatever. <laughs> it, there's a brighter tomorrow, right? Get it? Because it's the sky and it's all bright. And oh, Man, I'm really not good with the witty jokes. Ah! I totally watched Jay Carl's vlog the other day, and I didn't even click in to what show he was going on. I thought he was going on um, Modern Family, you know, the one with... I don't even know. I don't watch it. So I was like, oh, cool. Like, he's going on a show. Congrats to him, right? But, like, I don't really watch the show, so whatever. But he's going on No Ordinary Family! Do you know what this means? This means that he's going on a show that I really, 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 really liked, but I haven't watched since the fifth episode because I didn't have all the episodes. But still! Ooh, I feel like Knives Chow right now when she gets all excited for the band in Scott Pilgrim. She girl's going on No Ordinary Family! Uh, isn't that exciting? I was hoping that I wasn't going to have this talk with you guys, but because my parents bugged me about it and it's been on my mind for like four days now, I'm just going to yell it out in front of you. Except not yell it out. I'm going to belch my heart out. Ew. Sounds disgusting. My parents were talking to me about how... This is going to sound really wrong at first, but how I'm self-centered. And they didn't really mean it in the way that I'm completely the biggest jerk ever and self-centered that way. It's more of, they were saying how every teenager is self-centered in their own way. 
because I was talking about how one of my friends only cares about themselves and only talks about themselves and it really bothers me because they can't have a conversation other than about themselves. So that's how we got on the topic of it at first and then they're like, it sounds like you. And I was like, haha, you're so funny. And they're like, no, really. They're like, how often do you want to hear about someone else's day? And I was like, um, like I'll ask, like, I don't want to know their whole life story or anything, but I'll ask someone. And then they're like, yeah, but you'd much rather talk about your day, wouldn't you? And I was like, well, I guess it's an easier topic, seeing as I am able to elaborate on it. And they're just like, well, you're kind of, like, self-involved. It's more not, not self-centered, necessarily. It's more self-involved, right? They didn't want me to take it in the wrong way because they didn't mean it in the wrong way, but if I think about it, this is another example that they gave me. If someone texts me, and I don't know if it sounds like it's about me or not, I will automatically assume it's about me. And it's not that I'm super obsessed with myself, it's just the fact is that's how I take things. And they said that a lot of teenagers do that. And realizing this makes me realize how much easier things would be if I didn't see things this way. So, if I ask people about their day, and I am really actually interested in how their day was, I could be creating a friendship that potentially was never there before. You know what I mean? If you want to communicate with someone more, they probably want to communicate with you more, and they want to know more about you. And then, if I don't always think things are about me, and it's not bad or good, then I never feel down about stuff. Does that make sense? I don't know. I think this is a positive way to look at life if, like, I really don't want you guys to think I'm self-centered. I know I do a vlog and I talk about my life on here and stuff like that, but I have other motives towards it type thing. But this is kind of like a re revelation? A revelation? Is that the word? Please don't make fun of me if it's not. This is going to help so much because I take negative comments on my videos kind of to heart. Not a lot, but I'm just kind of like, oh, well... Why'd you have to say that, you jerk? And then I just kind of ignore it, but... Even if I read it, now I'd be kind of like, well, either they're meaning it in a positive way to for me to improve in some way, or they just don't like my videos, and I'm okay with that, because I know not everyone's going to like my videos. And it feels so good when you're not negative, and this is just another way to make me less negative and care more about everyone else, and not just myself. Maybe you guys should try it if you're self-centered like me. <laughs> In saying all that, I just thought of this. Even though I didn't win that contest, if I look at it as a positive thing, is it is teaching me that I can't just make money out of the blue, and that I do have to earn money because that's how this world works, then, you know, that makes sense to me. It's okay that I didn't win that contest because it was fun to do. It was fun to do. I got to make a funny video that everyone liked on my Nerds for L channel, and that I got to experience you guys helping me out, and it is a positive thing. Even though it would have been, like, positive if I won, it's still a positive thing if I lost. Does this make sense? Does this entire look on life make sense? I feel like it does. It makes sense in my brain. My brain! I totally burped. Did you hear? That was like, brain! <laughs> that was the best! I burped on camera! <laughs> I've never been able to because I can't fake burp. <laughs> so, that was even the bestest. <laughs> so I crashed my parents' van again. Except it was their actual van, the really nice one. And it's about six to... $8,000 worth of damage slid down the driveway again that that driveway kind of hates me I think positive outlook on this is that potentially I could have done something a lot worse or maybe this is stopping me from hitting a kid that maybe in the future I was supposed to hit but I'm not anymore because I'm not allowed to drive the van I think somebody's testing my positivity I don't think it's very funny I think I'm going to stay away from the internets for a little bit, so I don't bring the positivity mojo down. I'll still vlog, but I'm going to try and stay away from the internets, like Twitter and stuff like that, before I like go on an epic rampage of negativity. But, positive thoughts. I'm going to go to bed and sleep this off. That's what positive thoughts are going through my head right now. Okay, good night.